Hello friends! Well, this review will be dedicated to the device which has finally come to me and I'm very glad to make this review. Well, this is Hantec 2D42 and this is the oscilloscope which has two channels, both are analog. Also this is digital multimeter which also can measure current and also this device has signal generator. It comes with three probes. Well, this is the first one. Well, this is the second. And this is the third. So this one is most likely for the signal generator, but anyway you can use this cable for the second channel. Also we have two probes with the protectors. And for charging we have the USB charger, which is 5 volt and 2 amp device. Also, the device comes with a Type-C USB cable, which we will need for charging and PC connection. The device is fed by two lithium-ion batteries 18650. The description on them indicates 2600 milliamp hours, but I have tested both of them with the capacity checker. And here are the results. 2460 to 381. Not bad. And this is the inscription. As to the device itself, here we have the lock. Nothing. Also nothing. This socket is designed only for the Type-C connection. No SD card. During charging process the power button is red and it turns off as soon as the device is charged. Well, this is signal generator. Well, this is digital multimeter. And also the connections are indicated here. And this is the scope. But first of all let's check the menu. Here we have language English or Chinese sound on and off I prefer off backlight 6 7 8 9 10 well, this is the first line from four lines 1 slash 4 again menu 2 slash 4 Backlight time 30 seconds. Let it be 120 seconds. Reference, safe reference, cursor, measure. So, in case of cursor, enable on. We can see the yellow lines. But in case of type, not voltage, but time, we have wireless to vertical cursors. 2 slash 2, here we have the indications of microseconds. Measurement, enable off, enable on. Here we have the frequency and amplitude for each channel. If you don't want these parameters to be displayed, simply go to the menu, measure and enable off. Again menu, system info, model, soft, PCB and FPGA. Shutdown in 5 minutes, calibration function and factory settings. So that's all for the menu. In case of signal generator. You can generate the frequency or press this button to stop generating. You can change the waveform with the help of this button. Frequency can be changed with the help of these two buttons. You can increase or decrease. But in case you press the second time, 
you have this numeric pad and if you want for example to generate one megahertz signal you go to one enter kilohertz megahertz let's say megahertz enter and we have one megahertz signal and amplitude is two volts well, this is the first line from two lines the type is the same but we can also adjust the offset for the sine wave we have the maximum frequency of 25 megahertz and in case of the square waveform the maximum is 10 megahertz in case of triangle the maximum frequency is 1 megahertz let's check the digital multimeter here we have DC voltage resistance buzzer DC amps DC milliamps DC millivolts AC volts AC amps AC milliamps and the last line 4 slash 4 diodes and capacitors DC voltage 3835 383 three. it's excellent 1432 1431 really great result resistance 1502 1500 1501 great buzzer okay DC amps it's a short circuit of the old battery then where it measures DC milliamps so I have no such precise device in order to check this function DC millivolts 56 millivolts 56 millivolts AC volts let's check the mains voltage 235-236 AC amps let's check the power consumption of this lamp this indication is correct because the lamp consumes 60 watts and the mains voltage is 236 volts AC milliamps we will not test this function diodes this is in one direction Uh, this another direction and capacitors let's check two types of the capacitors 204 nanofarads and the inscription says 0 0.22 so it's approximately the same 220 and here we have 204 not bad another type 12.9 microfarads and here we have 10 not so bad anyway the capacitor can be checked whether it works or not and finally let's check the main function of this device it's oscilloscope we will do it with the help of another device Jinhan JDS 2023 at the present moment the oscilloscope is connected to its own signal generator let's press auto auto setting in order to get the frequency we go to the menu measure measure on but the frequency is 43 Hertz let's check it 44 Hertz now let's set the frequency to 1 kilohertz one enter kilohertz enter scope so the frequency is exactly one kilohertz we'll press time we 
Very nice waveform, 50 kilohertz. Not bad. Five. Zero 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 zero, or maybe kilohertz. But anyway, it's the same. Enter. Scope. Not bad. One megahertz. Scope. The maximum is 10 megahertz. Nothing like square waveform. So let's define the maximum frequency at which the square waveform is OK. At 1 megahertz, it's more or less OK. At 2 megahertz, also we can say that it's something like square waveform. This is 3 megahertz. And in case of 4 megahertz or more, for example, 5 megahertz, this is nothing like square waveform. So maximum is approximately 2 megahertz. So this is 2 megahertz signal. Let's compare this graph with this oscilloscope. Here it's more or less better. In this situation, maybe this probe needs to be adjusted. Let's check the sine wave. The frequency is 1 MHz. Let's check also here. It's good. 2 MHz. Scope, OK. 5 MHz. It's OK. 10 MHz. It's also OK. 21 MHz. So the signal decreases. Anyway, this is the sine wave. Also, we have another types of signals. Auto. Almost the same one. We can stop. And also, we can modify this picture in case of stopped signal. very useful function. Play. So it's OK. As to the rest buttons, well, this is channel button. Channel 1 on Coupling AC 1 slash 2 2 slash 2 probe and this is bandwidth limit so in case of channel 2 we we'll switch channel 2 it's off and we can turn it on so now green is channel 2 now let's leave the first signal at the first channel and the second signal will go from Jinhan device to Hantek. Here we have the first signal triangle generated by Hantek and the second signal is square waveform which comes from Jinhan. So in total we have Jin Hantek. As to the trigger we have source channel 1 or channel 2 And we can see how does it change everything. Rising or falling. This is double. Mode auto and normal. And slash 2 2 force. Let it be off. As to this button, press F1 to recall defaults. Here we have mode YT and the second mode is roll. So in roll mode you can observe the graph completely. In case of a long press, this is custom buttons. Custom one. 
This is custom two. Multifunction key. And data safe. As to the weight of this device, a bit more than 600 grams, including two batteries. Despite the fact that the device which has two analog channels cannot work in math mode, its PC software provides this function. Let's check it. The oscilloscope is connected to PC with the help of the USB cable and we see only the channel 1 because channel 2 is turned off. Let's turn it on. The graph changes approximately every second, but it's absolutely normal because the oscilloscope sends big packages of information to the PC. Now we have two signals. Sinusoidal from this oscilloscope and square waveform from Jinhan JDS2023. As to the math function, we can turn it on. Math setup. On off. This is on and here we have the result. We can stop it and here we can expand the time. So uh, this sinusoidal signal plus uh, this signal amounts to this one. And also here, in case we add this part of sinusoidal to this line, we'll get the sinusoidal, approximately sinusoidal signal, a bit higher. Also, we can check the signal generator. As to the digital multimeter, let's check it with the help of the battery. In half a second it changes. Once again. Also here we have the graph of voltage changes. So now we have the negative voltage. Once again. And once again. In order to make changes, we can use both PC and the device itself. Well, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.